What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolis TV. In this video, I'm gonna go through the first 20 tips and tricks for you for the Pixel 6a. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. And if you wanna pick this phone up, I'll link it down below. So first thing you wanna do is if you want to open the camera really, really quickly, you have the power button on the right here, double press it twice really quickly, and it automatically opens the camera. Now, one of the cool things is, and it says, right when I did it, it says quickly press the power button twice to open the camera, just hit okay to that. But one of the cool things is you can do that from any screen that you're on. So if you're on the lock screen, you can do it. Or if you're in an app, you can do it as well. So let's just say I'm in uh, YouTube, double press it and it opens up. So from anywhere, it will open up your camera. So very, very cool stuff. While you're in the camera, you can see I'm under uh, camera. Hit the, in the top left, hit that downward arrow right there. And you can come in here and change certain things. So if you want night sight to be on or off or top shot, you can put a timer on if you're looking for a timer. Also, you've got your ratio if you want it to be a 16 by nine photo. So it's uh, long and, and skinny, or you can do it short and fat at four by three, which is the default. Hit more settings down there. And camera sounds, I always turn off if you're trying to take a secret photo of somebody or you just don't want to be able to hear that, I would turn it off. Definitely recommend turning that off. Beyond that, you also have your camera uh, selfie, save selfie as preview. So save selfies as they appear in the viewer. This is like if, if it's mirrored, you can change that by turning it on and off right there. Go back, go into video. Under video, hit the downward arrow again, and you're gonna see you can change the resolution. So by default on the front and back cameras, you can do, actually just the back I should say. On the back camera you got 4K there, you can change the resolution. I would recommend changing it to 4K, you're gonna get better uh, resolution, better looking videos. And then if you switch the camera to the front and go to the same part up here, uh, the, you can't change the resolution of the video because it's stuck at 1080p. So if you're wondering why you can't do it on the front, that's why. But uh, after that, you should be good. So we're gonna next go into our home screen. So now that you're on the home screen, press and hold on a blank spot, go into home settings, notifications dot. I would keep it on, it's gonna give you notification little dots next to any apps that have notifications. At a glance, this is gonna be when you, and you can come in here and change certain things, but basically it's gonna show sensitive content on your lock screen, so you can turn that on or off. But ultimately, you'll see who's ringing your bell when your doorbell rings, your timer stopwatch, your bedtime, your fitness, all at a glance, and that's gonna show all right here on your screen. If you don't want the Google app, so you can see swipe to access Google, Google app, you can turn that on or off. You can see this is the Google app, I love it. You might not love it, and if you don't love it, you can come back in here and turn it off right here. Swipe to access Google app, you can turn it off right over there. Let's go home again, and we're gonna go into the wallpaper and styles. We can easily change your wallpapers. Click on this, choose from, they have tons of wallpapers in here that you can choose from. Very helpful. And then once you do that, you can also change the colors of like icons and themes and stuff right there. You can also turn on dark theme so it's black on the screen. I think I love it, so I always turn that on. Makes it easier to see. You can also, it's in beta, but you can do themed icons as well. So it'll theme out your icons depending upon your wallpaper and all that stuff. Next, let's swipe down from the top twice and hit the gear right here. And go into network and internet. Go into your internet. Go into network preferences. Notify for public networks, turn that off. You don't need to know every time there's a public network that's open, I would turn it off, it's annoying. And potentially not very safe. Go back to the main screen of settings, go into apps, go into default apps. This is where you can, can, change, you can change default apps. So like maybe if you had multiple browsers installed Firefox or something, you can come in here and just tap the radio button next to it and that'll change your default app for your browser. Same thing with your caller ID, your digital assistance, your home apps, your phone apps, SMF, just come in, click on that and you can change those for yourself. Back to the main screen of settings, go into battery and it'll show battery percentage. Turn that on. I love seeing the battery percentage. If you don't, you don't have to, but I love seeing it. And that is exactly where you turn it on. Back to the main screen of settings, go into sounds and vibrations. This is where you can control all your volumes. So you can also do it from the volume buttons right here. So when you press the volume, you can hit the three dots and it brings you into, oh, one sec, go back here. 
it'll bring you into the sounds and vibrations. You can control them as well. Going back into the settings, sounds and vibrations though, this is where you can change your ringtone and they have tons of different ringtones on here that you can change. If you like any of these, Reality Bites. There you go, so just choose your, your ringtones. Right there, you have your now playing. This should, it might not be on, so I said identify plays, songs playing nearby, turn that on. That's a cool feature on your lock screen. It'll actually show you what songs it's heard. And you can come back in here as well and look at your playing history to see what songs, oh, that was a cool song. What song was that was playing? And it'll pick this up from stuff that's playing just that the phone hears, have it be on the radio or um, anywhere. Back under sounds and vibrations, if you don't like vibration and haptics, you can turn it off right here. I'm not a huge fan of it, and I honestly, I turn it off. Also, coming down here, you can change your default notification sounds if you want. You can also change your default alarm sounds. And then these other ones down here, I don't like hearing my dial pad when I'm calling a phone number. I don't need the screen locking sound, charging sounds and vibration, I turn it off, and touch sounds I also turn off. Settings, next go into display. You can change your brightness level. You just click on that and you can drag this bar left or right. Adaptive brightness, if you turn that on, it'll adjust your brightness due to how the lighting is in the room of where you are, wherever you are or outside. It'll make it brighter or darker depending upon the lighting situation. Screen timeout's another big one. I usually set it to two minutes. I have it on 10 minutes just for this video, but I would say change it to two minutes. Then we have dark theme. Like I said, you can turn that on or off or have it be under a schedule if you want to turn on to customize times, or you can turn it on from sunrise to sunset, which is probably what most people do. Your font size and display size. I like my stuff usually a little bit bigger, so I'll make it bigger. And then display size, sometimes I want that a little bit bigger. So you can do all of that right there. Colors. I keep it at uh, adaptive or boosted. It just, I don't usually put it at natural. Natural just looks uh, a little bit too natural for me. I want it to look really, really poppy. Next under settings, you wanna go into security and under security, this is where we can change or make up a, a screen lock and you can make it, uh, they can make the pattern visible or not by turning it off. You can lock your screen after, or lock after screen timeout. Power button instantly locks the phone. You have your fingerprint lock so you can come in here and change your or add a fingerprint in here so I can add one or delete one smart locks a cool one if you come in here and you turn it on you can actually have your phone unlock or and it tells you right here basically it'll keep your phone unlocked or whatever in certain situations if it's connected to your car or uh, if it's at your house or work and you want to have it to be unlocked this is a great thing to turn on and get going next thing you want to do under settings is go into google so one of the major things you want to have turned on and it probably already is is find my device go in there make sure that's turned on basically what it does is it allows you to find your device either from a website the, the, the website uh, for finding your devices on google or on the app and you can buzz your phone even if your ringer is off and you can see it on a map where it is under settings go into system and this is where you can come in here and check for updates go to system updates check for an update see if you have any updates and install them also under system go into gestures and there's a couple of gestures in here that you might want to turn on so quick tap to start actions if you take that and you double tap the back you can do quick tap there turn that on and it'll do something for you such as take a screenshot or play pause media or see recent apps now it's gonna happen basically anytime that you double tap it even if it's by accident so I have it on I'm gonna double tap it and you can see quick tap detected see if I can get a screenshot there you go so real quick and easy way to take a screenshot also if you want to take a screenshot put one finger on the power and the other on the volume down and that'll take a screenshot as well going back to gestures to open up quickly open up your camera like I mentioned you can quickly press uh, the power button twice you also have flip open flip camera for selfie so if you have the camera open let's see all right, I'm gonna go. There you go. Double, you have to do it twice. It'll switch between the cameras, and that's uh, kind of helpful, I guess. I never use that, I'll be honest with you, but maybe you, you'll wanna use it. System navigation, this is a big one. Obviously, you can see I've been using gestures, swiping up, but if you wanna bring up the old traditional buttons, you can. Unfortunately, I don't know why they don't. Google does not give you a way 
on their Pixel phones anyway, to switch the back button over to the right. I like the back button over to the right. I don't know why they don't do it, but regardless, uh, yeah, it, it is something you can go back to the three buttons on here. Tap to check your phone. You can just double press the screen and it will show you the, the time. Again, that can be pretty helpful for you if you need to. And all these should be on already, but lift to check your phone. Basically, if your phone's off, when you lift it, the screen turns on for you automatically. If you don't want that to happen, you can turn it off. You can also flip it to shush. So you can turn on do not disturb, place your phone. So if you, if you turn this on and then you place it face down, it's gonna shush it and not make any sounds. And uh, you know, I guess that's good if you if you want that on there to kind of block out anything that's gonna give you a phone call or anything like that in a busy situation. Press and hold your power button. This could potentially be big. When you press and hold it, you can press and hold for your assistant. So if we do that, you'll see I brought up my assistant, but I'll be honest with you, I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna turn that off. So now when I press and hold it, it brings up my power menu so that I can turn off my phone. So you can power it off or go restart or emergency information or lockdown. If you wanna reset the phone, go to settings, system, reset options, and you can come in down here and erase all your data or erase your downloaded SIMs or reset your app preferences or reset just Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. But if you wanna get rid of everything absolutely on the phone, do erase all data factory reset. Swiping down from the top twice, hit the pencil, and you can remove some of these if you want. So these are the, from, from here up is everything that I have in my quick toggles, but maybe I want hotspot to be up there. So I'm like, you know what, hotspot's important to me. So you just click and drag it. And maybe I want it to be right there. And maybe I don't really want um, the battery savings. Now I'll keep that one's a good one to have. Maybe I don't want alarm to be there. I still have my alarm, it's just not gonna be in my quick toggles. When I'm done, you can hit back and now you'll see i have hotspot there when i did not previously have it so there you guys go that is the pixel 6a first 20 or so tips and tricks if you want to pick up the phone it's linked down below have a great day and we'll see you down the road peace